Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. We'd love for you to be part of our soul tribe and loving vibe. If you're a returning sub, thank you so much for your love, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. It truly means the world to me from the bottom of my heart, and I have gratitude and thank you all so much for your trust. A little bit about me. I channel everything in a journal each day. I've strictly flipped the cards out of my own entertainment purposes. The cards always resonate with the journal. I see signs, sayings, messages, and I firmly believe these messages are meant for you. So, in the last 24 to 48 hours, there's been like some huge, beautiful nature messengers. And there are being crows. Very prevalent. Blue herring is such a beautiful, beautiful sign. Um, I've seen that twice, and I've also seen a, one of the largest hawks I've ever seen in my entire existence here on this earth. So, very, very powerful hawks are spiritual wisdom, past lives, crows, spiritual wisdom, blue herring, such, such good, good, good signs of balance and harmony, and the number I've been seeing is 888. I've been seeing that quite frequently, and 888 is a sign of abundance, financial abundance, so it's all good, good. I did something a little bit different today. I, I uh, flipped all the cards first and they resonate with my journal as always, but I flipped them first. I didn't do the actual Oracle uh, Twin Flame deck that I created. I just, the, the cards were calling out in different ways. So I, I have to listen to them. So I normally channel masculine energy, what's in the masculine's heart space. And if they could say anything, what would it be? And I'm just going to scroll through all of the cards that, um, as I go through, as, as I go through the message, so you can see all the cards. So what's in their heart space? If they could say anything, what would they say? Overall energy, I have healing energy here, and then I have the wisdom. So a little bit different, just trying to, you know, step it up. <laughs> I don't know, just do something different. So the current heart space is right here. We have anxiety, door to personal healing and happiness, storm warning, and cornucopia. Cornucopia in this in this deck is a, such a beautiful card. It's number eleven. It's representative to me of twin flames, and the masculine energy is knows that this is a twin flame. Absolutely knows that you're twin flames. There, there's some storm warnings in their life. Um, there's a lot of endings and new beginnings. And especially this week as we embark on a new season. So we're ending summer. We're moving into fall. There's changes everywhere. And it's some of these storms are actually creating some anxiety. And they fe they're feeling a lot of anxiety. They're feeling anxiety for two reasons. They've, they, they know what this journey is about. They have a deep sense of guilt and remorse for how they ran and just ghosted and walked away from this and it's causing some anxiety so feminine energy you may be feeling this anxiety and sometimes it seems to come out of some, nowhere and you may never even had anxiety before but when you come on this journey you you experience many many bouts of anxiety so but the one the one the one good thing about the masculine is the door to personal healing and happiness they're healing they're on an accelerated journey of healing. They put the garbage behind them. The, the storms, you know, come, but they also pass. So very, very good. They're in a very good heart space. There is some anxiety, and that's because they want to do the right thing, and they want to move forward. So if they could say anything. So this is the, what's in their heart space. These are the messages here. I'm just going to move the camera down a bit over slightly so you can see the messages i'll read them to you this is for you beautiful feminine energy it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself that's exactly what i wrote in in um my journal today self-love there's some self-esteem issues and you're beautiful and you have this unconditional love for each other and it's and they feel like you just need to spend some time alone maybe you're around drama or toxicity 
and that's the message. Another beautiful loving message is, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I love this one so much. This, they just fall out. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. Cornucopia. Twin flames. This is never a coincidence how these cards fall out. And lastly, um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. And it's just acceptance and inner peace. I feel like there's a lot of balance. You're, you're balancing each other's energy and truly that is the key to inner peace. So this, some of you have maybe feeling the anxiety from the masculine energy and it's suggested maybe just to spend some time alone and just just free yourself of any of the negative energy um the overall energy is attachment okay this is a beautiful card and the reason why this is a beautiful card this this woman here is holding a mask and she's looking at the mask and removing that attachment of our false self and many of you are doing this this is overall energy and you're just removing that fat that mask you're getting to that inner sense of peace and balance you're coming to who you truly are and those attachments you're removing um, I have the deceit card here number 25 deceit there's some deception in your soul circle and you're People aren't being forthright and honest. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you trust. Not everybody understands this journey. And sometimes there's there's other people out there as a diversion to divert you off the path. And they're very deception, like deceitful. And it it's just, just please, please, please be careful. There's a lot of deception out there. Unfortunately, I'm just meant to de debunk and dismantle the myths. Um, third eye chakra and it's the sixth the sixth chakra and it's it means intuition and wisdom and it's in the center of the forehead obviously you can see that and it governs the lower brain nervous system the ears nose eyes it's how we see things both physically and intuitively when developed it improves our intuition so one thing is is that's very, very prevalent between twin flames is when you come in, you almost immediately open up each each other's third eye. Just because there's um, seven chakras, it doesn't mean it has to start at the base or, or you know, at the root and or at the crown. When you come into each other, you you stimulate and activate the third eye instantly. And some of you may have some sinus congestion some ears, your ears might be itchy, they might be clogged, that's your third eye opening, like you're draining, it's, it's, you may be feeling that, and number 48 is the angel of balance, so you, I, I feel this is divinely orchestrated at the divine time, it's always protected by God, universe, divine, however you resonate, this is a divine God, I, I firmly believe, connection and it's it's in the air right now it's in the universe it's in our orbit it's all this balancing energy and some of you just may feel this sense of solitude and the sense of peace because you've let go of some of the things that are no longer serving your life and you just feel just like this huge burden has been lifted from you and it's beautiful these are the healing i'm just going to move this over here so you can see them better these are the healing. So what needs to be healed in this connection? Um, beauty. I resonate this card number 17 with self-love. You are beautiful. And some of you are just struggling right now with some self-worth and just, yeah, you're, you're struggling. And this is not an easy journey. It's really, truly not. You, you are beautiful and you have to, it's a, it's a journey of so many elements, but the number one thing is you're beautiful and to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you radiate loving energy and you bring, you invite that loving energy back 
It's sometimes we get into this self-loathing and we are so upset and angry about what happened with the, f the physical separation. But it is truly a journey of healing and love and you are beautiful. I have this card written beside it and it, it's, it's, it says pride. There you go. I'm going to read. I'm going to distinctly relate this to the ego card, like ego. And it, it, pride is a good thing. It's, it's, but too much of it is not. So you're some of the twins. Uh, and, and I'm going to use my, myself as an example. When we were in physical separation, I had a, way too much pride. Like, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Like, no way. It was my pride. My pride was interfering with the love in my heart. And it, and it was like, no, no, no. If, you, if he wants to make a move, he can make a move. I'm not making a move. And this went on and on and on. It was a cycle that I was perpetuating. And then finally, I just swallowed my pride. And I made that movement. I made that move. I went to him. And it all worked out beautifully. So... Look at, it. are you are you are you walking with too much pride right now? That may be something that you need to heal within yourself. Say what you mean. Uh, number eighteen. How I resonate this card is, um, it's, it's it's you have to sometimes say no, and it's it, it can be uncomfortable for the things that are not serving you in your life. There's some deception, huge deception in your life. And, and just say what you mean. If you if it's not working for you, do it. You can always do it in a loving way. You just say, you know, I'm just going to spend some time alone. Which, you know, it's, it says right here to spend some time alone. And, and just do what's good for you. And go on a mission of healing and self-love. And it's... And say what you mean. You know, there's no harm in telling the truth. And doing it in a loving manner and just it's, it's it, the, the people that are deceiving you are family and friends and it's just say i'm working on me i just want to spend some time with myself nothing personal if you want to invite them back in your life then invite them back in your life when you're ready but it's it's about healing and personal happiness sexual arts 33 i feel like there's a lot of sexual energy between twins right now it's natural to feel this energy you're binded by energy you're magnetically um attached by energy even though attachment is just merely a label but there's very powerful energy and passion and it, it just it seems strange uh when i went through this it was all so weird it just used to come out of nowhere um, I usually was meditating. Meditating is, is very, very important and freeing your mind and breathing is very important to get to that self-love of yourself. And then lastly, I have these four wisdom cards um, for you, blessed souls. So we'll just move this over again. Here we go. And there is a common theme here. So with this, all of this, so clean it up, chop wood, um, building blocks between two worlds clean it up uh, just chop it get rid of what's no longer serving your soul this could be your block and and the pride could be your block as well it's just it's just clean it up and and get rid of it take out the rubbish in your life it's no longer serving your soul and between two worlds. I love this so much. I, I This is such a beautiful card. It's endings and beginnings. And, and between two worlds. Exactly it. Um, the masculine knows that this is a twin flame. The, the, the feminine has known for quite some time. It seems like sometimes the f feminine are... They're accelerating faster than the masculine energy. And I, I believe that's the way it's meant to be. And it's, it's endings and beginnings. And it's, it's very, very 
beautiful and it's almost like a transformation a metamorphosis and 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 leaving the old world behind and going into a new a new beginning a new world and that new world is you feminine energy so that's what i have for you today folks again just a little bit different um if any of this resonates kindly hit the thumbs up notification bell subscribe comment we love to hear your comments have a beautiful and wonder day wonderful day folks